Hi, good day. Welcome to Phil Korean TV Math Corner. For today's video, we will talk about differentiating solid figures from plain figures. Sa video na ito ay ipapaliwanag ko sa inyo ang nilalaman ng Module 1, Lesson 2 para sa Grade 6. Okay, umpisa natin dito sa plain figure. Plain figure is a geometric figure that is flat whose points lie on the same surface. It has no thickness, only length and width. That's why it is called two-dimensional shape. It can be composed of a straight line, curved line, or both straight and curved lines. Ang plane figure ay nabubuo sa pamamagitan ng mga linya na pwedeng straight or pakurba. O pwede ring pagsamahin yung straight line at curved line para makabuo ng plane figure. Ang plane figure ay mayroon lang siya na length or haba and width or lapad. Wala siyang height. Dalawa lang yung kanyang dimension, length and width. Kaya siya tinatawag na two-dimensional shape. Plain figures are categorized into two, open figure and closed figure. Ang plain figures ay may dalawang grupo, or nahati siya sa dalawang klase, yung open figure at closed figure. Okay, tingnan natin ang pagkakaiba ng dalawang ito. Makikita ninyo sa kaliwa yung open figure, yung mga larawan or guhit. Then, sa kanan naman, yung closed figure. Nandyan din yung mga halimbawa. Okay, open figure has at least one end point and one side is not connected to the rest. Example of this are line segments, Curves and angles. Okay, tingnan ninyo itong mga halimbawa ng open figure. Diba, lahat ng yan ay hindi nakadugtong yung isang side. Kumbaga, may kulang naguhit sa isang side. Kaya siya open. Kumbaga, bukas. Yan ang tinatawag nating open figure. Dito naman sa kanan ang closed figure. Closed figure has no break. The line segments or curves are continuous forming a closed shape. A closed figure has an area and perimeter. Okay, tingnan natin itong mga halimbawa ng closed figure. Bawat isang shape ay walang putol yung linya. Buong buo sila. Sarado ang bawat shape na nandyan. Kaya nga tinatawag na closed figure. At ang closed figure ay mayroon siya ng area and perimeter. Kapag sinabi nating area, ito yung space na na-occupy ng isang flat shape o ng surface ng isang bagay. Ang perimeter naman ay ang distance around the polygon. Ito yung kabuuang sukat ng length and width ng isang shape. Closed figures are further categorized into polygonal plane figures and non-polygonal plane figures. Okay, yung closed figures nahahati naman siya sa dalawa. Ang polygonal plane figures at non-polygonal plane figures. Okay, closed figures or polygons are bounded by line segments. These line segments are its sides and the end points of the sides of a polygon are its vertices. Ang plane figures or polygons ay binubuo siya ng mga linya. Ang linya na yan ay tinatawag nating sides. At ang end points o yung dulo ng 
dalawang side na nagtagpo ay tinatawag nating vertices or vertex. Yung singular vertex, ang plural vertices. Okay, polygonal plane figures are closed figures formed by the line segments. A polygon has at least three sides. Examples of polygons are triangle, quadrilateral, pentagon, and all the n-sided polygon. Ang polygonal plane figures ay mayroon siya ng at least three sides. Okay, itong mga halimbawa na nasa baba, yung triangle, okay, mayroon siyang tatlong side. One, two, three. Ang quadrilateral, four sides. One, two, three, four. At yung pentagon ay mayroong limang sides. One, two, three, four, five. Ang iba pang halimbawa ng polygons ay yung hexagon na mayroong six sides, heptagon may seven sides, octagon eight sides, nonagon nine sides, decagon ten sides, and so on. Non-polygonal plane figures are plane figures that have curved sides or edges. Example, circle, ellipse, other non-polygonal planes. So dito, ang non-polygonal plane figures naman, ito ay binubuo ng curved sides or edges. At pwede ring pagsamahin ang straight line at curved lines para makabuo ng non-polygonal plane figures. Okay, so yung circle, pakor ba yung linya niya? Ang ellipse, ganun din. Dito naman sa other non-polygonal planes, pinagsama ang straight line at curve lines. Okay, so yan ang non-polygonal plane figures. Nabubuo ito sa pamamagitan ng curve lines. O kaya naman, pinagsamang curve lines at straight line. Okay, dito naman tayo sa solid figure. Solid figure, on the other hand, is a closed figure that has three dimensions. The length, width, and height. Ang solid figure, mayroong tatlong dimension. Meron siyang length, haba, yung width, yung lapad, at ang height niya or yung taas. The following table shows illustrations of the different solid figures. Okay, yung nasa kaliwa, solid figures with straight faces. Okay, meron siyang straight faces. Examples dito, yung rectangular prism, triangular prism, cube, yung pyramid or square pyramid. Okay, the solid figures above have sides called faces. When these faces meet and form a line segment, it's called edges. And each endpoint of an edge is called a vertex. These are prisms, cube, and pyramids. Okay, so yung solid figures na mayroong straight faces, so yung sides nila, yung surface na yan, tinatawag na faces or face. Tapos yung linya, yan naman ang tinatawag na edge. At yung dalawang linya, yung dulo nila, kapag nagtagpo yan, yung point na yon kung saan sila nagdugtong, ang tawag ay vertex. Okay, dito naman sa kanan, ito yung solid figures with curved faces. The solid figures with curved faces have no edges. The cylinder having two circular bases and a curved lateral face. The cone which has a circular base and a curved surface pointed towards the top or apex. The sphere which has all points with equal distance from the center forming a curved surface. Okay, so 
yung examples na nandyan, yung cylinder, ito, ang sphere, at itong cone. Lahat yan, wala silang edges. Kasi yung surface nila ay curve. Yung faces na yan, pakurba. Okay. Ngayon naman, tingnan natin yung pagkakaiba ng plain figures sa solid figures. Gamit ang table na ito. Okay, yung sa kaliwa, plain figures. Ang sa kanan, solid figures. Okay, makikita ninyo na description dito sa plain figures ay two-dimensional shape, flat, has length and width. Okay, yan ang uh, masasabi natin sa plain figures. Mayroon lang siyang dalawang dimension, yung length at saka width. At ang plain figures ay flat. Kagaya ng makikita ninyo dyan sa uh, baba. Yung triangle, nandyan yung circle, ellipse, square, yung pentagon. Ito yung mga halimbawa ng plain figures. Flat lang sila. Okay. Dito naman sa kanan, sa solid figures, yung description niya o ang naglalarawan sa kanya ay three-dimensional shape. Okay, meron siyang tatlong dimension. Next, thickness and depth. Then, has length, width, and height. Okay, so yung solid figures, tandaan nyo lang na meron siyang tatlong dimension, yung length, haba, width, yung lapad niya, and height. Yung taas. Yung halimbawa naman ng solid figures, nandyan sa baba, kasama ang prism, cube, yung cone, sphere, pyramid, cylinder. Yan ang mga halimbawa ng solid figures. Okay. So, sana matandaan ninyo yung pagkakaiba ng plain figures sa solid figures. Okay, magbigay tayo ng mga bagay na kasama sa plain figures. Kasama dito yung paper, placemat, wall sticker, calendar, handkerchief. Lahat ng mga bagay na ito, meron lang sila ng length at width. Then, flat din sila. Okay, ang halimbawa naman ng solid figures ay shoebox, flower vase, Ball, drinking glass, cabinet, at marami pang iba na makikita ninyo sa inyong bahay. Okay, that's all for this video. Sana may natutuhan kayo sa video ito. See you next time! God bless!